Okay, we are back with another amazing guest. Two and a half years now since her debut interview and from what I know, a lot has changed for her in that time. I'm sure she needs no introduction, but let us welcome under 76 kilo IPF world record breaking and now world champion powerlifter and our first recurring guest on the show, Miss Carlina Tongtea. Hello again. <laughs> Look, I know a lot's changed for you since we last sat down in March of 2021. You just come off what was then your best competition to date, which was the WP Oceania Champs, where you hit 533 total. Mm -hmm. um, we were still sitting down sort of comparing WP and IPF, so I'm sure the people sort of want to know what happened next. So after a lot of scrolling through the gram, I was reminded that the next comp for you um, was actually June of 2021. I was alongside a strongman event that I was running. Mm. Um, so that was WP North Islands. We'll just t touch on these comps sort of briefly. Yeah. You had a 5.53 total for a 20 kilo PB. Can you talk to us a bit about the prep for that comp and mm. sort of the challenges in another COVID affected year of lifting? Yeah, oh my gosh, that seems like so <laughs> long ago. Because like the last year and a half has just been crazy for me um so that i guess that competition was after the first lot of lockdowns and honestly i don't even remember much i think i remember that i was wanting to break the under 72 top uh, world record at that time which i think was maybe five kilos higher or something than the 553 i did so that was the main focus of that competition and i fell short of that um, but there was no 72 class anyway, so I was kind of just like trying to beat this non-existent thing. And then I think we had another lockdown, maybe? Yeah, because you were training in the garage at one point. Yeah, yeah. So we had the second, and that was long, the longest one. And at that point, I was really starting to think, is this the right place for me? I'm progressing really well, and I'm really getting close to those top women that I had been looking to and um, but never competing against and so I was talking with um, my coach Dom about where was the right place for me because at that time as well USAPL was breaking away and so there was kind of different a couple of different places you could go but it really was the IPF like I had to go back go there and actually compete against those women. So you ended up back in the NZPF March of 2022, you're in the under 76 class. Yeah. You went eight for nine in that first comp back, 582 for what was an unofficial world record at the time. Mm. Can you talk to us, I know you touched on it, but a little bit more about why you wanted to move back to the APA, to the NZPF, and talk to us a little bit about that first comp back. Yeah, I mean, having such a lull with competition for a few years and then being forced to have no competitions by COVID, you know, I was really watching the IPF world stage a lot. And the closer that I was getting to their totals, the more confident I was getting in myself with competing directly against them. Um, and I was just itching for it. Like I was itching to, to beat someone <laughs> and not just try and beat myself or this like, um, this ranking on open powerlifting. So, the decision to go back, I was really excited. I was so excited to go back to the IPF and compete against people. And I don't think I knew what I was gonna hit. I didn't expect to hit that 582. Um, I and mean, when it happened, honestly, things just kind of blew up from there. 